All right, Badlands Rebuilds, we just got back. We just got ourselves a cracking good deal on a Porsche. I don't know if it's a cracking good deal, but it's got a lot of cracks on it. What we have here is we picked up a 1973 Porsche. It's a 914. You can see in the back there, it's a 914 with a 17. It was in the scrapyard. The guy had it forever. Never did nothing to it. The guy didn't want to crush it. That's so why he made a little bit of a deal on it. Did some trades. Threw some quid at it. Is quid a word? No, I don't know. But this is a German made car. Um, the deck lid and the trunk. Uh, well, this isn't really the trunk. This is the, the second trunk. It's all canubered all together. And we're just going to take that off. Yeah, who needs that? And then the Porsche engine cover we got the we're looking at the motor here we'll clean her all up uh we'll see if it'll run this is just kind of a run run thing here and let's go look at that battery thing um well it has not run we'll show you that next this car has not it's been played last time it was played it was in march of 93 um, so that puts this car not running at what uh, 30 31 years hasn't been licensed for 31 years they do claim it has a title um, the trunks up here uh, does not open so that'll be interesting we'll probably have to go through the bumper down here somewhere and see if we can get it pulled um, I do believe the top comes off it's a, it's a T top version or the top version but I do believe that all pulls off um, We'll jump up here and take a little bit better look at the motor. <laughs> Sorry about the video and it's windy out. We went, winched it on here and wind's blowing 30 mile an hour again. But for the most part, the car looks pretty complete. I mean, if you, it's got some wires hanging, doesn't look like too many, there's dead mouse inside of it. Doesn't look like too many hanging around in here. Probably nothing to eat in this car. Here's the interior. It does have some rust to the floors here. Um, yeah, we're gonna clean it all up. Um, do a video of this, see if we can get her to run. Uh, I have messed with a few Volkswagens and that. Hopefully this one's, I don't know. It's a little bit newer than stuff I've messed with. 60 bugs, 70 bugs. I guess it is a 73. Let's look at the badges. Up here, it's a, what does that say? Can you read that? It says, made in Western Germany. Carmen Gia, whatever the heck that is. So I don't know if this car, it's like it was produced in Germany. Everything looks pretty good down in here. Oh, the pedals look pretty good. We do have one dead critter in there. That's probably got some more critters in here. So we're gonna try to, uh, what's the mileage say on it? Oh, there's the mileage. It says, can you read that? Maybe, oh, I can't see that. Oh, there it is. 73,429. Probably all the miles it got because I probably didn't go very far. Um, Passenger car manufactured by Volkswagen. Uh, three of 73. I think it's 74, but I don't know. Uh, could be older than that. Um, we got some work to do. It's got some micey crap in it, this and that. And, um, oh, look at that. It does, is that an A track? I think it does have an A track in it. We can listen to some A track music. How's this work? little night or ashtray removable top look at this oh we got we got gas leaking out oh, that's probably a good thing i smell it that gas is 100 years old that's coming from the floor let's go in and explore that because i was looking earlier and i thought wow this is interesting because you know the gas tanks is up front where do you think they ran that gas line? I mean, 
I'm no master mechanic by any means, and I'm no engineering wizard. But look where I, I believe the gas thing is right here. Is that the gas? No, it must not be. We're leaking gas from somewhere. Well, look at this. What the heck is this? This looks like this is the gas line. Somebody already cut this. Probably they're probably trying to hook a tank up to it like I'm going to try doing. But since we're sitting on a slant on a trailer, that old gas is running out of that tank right now. So that's going to save us a little time cleaning it up. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think we should do with this car? Um, this is going to be the first video of this little car. We're just going to try to get her to run. We'll throw that back deck lid off, the top off. The doors don't work on the outside. Maybe we can fix them. Um, but yeah, let's look what size tires you think are on this thing. It's going to need some tires. Uh, looks like they're 165, 80, 15, same as a Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Uh, something else I was going to talk a little bit about is, uh, is yeah, these handles and stuff with these doors. The paint's not horrible on the car. You know, I mean, it's just going to need some freshening up and some tires on it. And, oh, 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 this tire, that tire's seen its better days. She's been rode down the road a little bit. But I don't know, I'll probably get a 185.15 on here pretty reasonable. We'll climb underneath there and look at the suspension. I don't know if this car's got any value whatsoever. Um, this is hanging down. But let's go underneath here. Uh, can you see the motor and stuff? Does not look too bad. The shocks look like they're not terrible. Um, I smell old gas. It's got the old, looks like an old Volkswagen rear tires. Does that have disc brakes on on the back too? Well, I guess I don't know. Um, we're gonna keep researching this and see uh, the floor pans look pretty good underneath. It looks pretty solid. I think the main thing on these Volkswagens and all this is the floors are gone, the car is gone, is what they're saying. But let's look at that. Is that a disc brake? Anybody tell me, does, Vol does Porsche have disc brakes all the way around on that? Huh. There's a better look at the tire. 165 80 r 15 We'll go look at the front and see what the front is. But the motor does not look, it doesn't look too dirty. You know? What do you guys think of that? Mm. Oh, gosh, that hurts. I'm getting too old for this. We're still leaking gas out the front. What does this have up there? It does have disc brakes. It looks like it has disc brakes all the way around on it. Um, which, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we see underneath a little bit better, the flooring and stuff. So we're gonna try to get it or make it a roller and see if we can get her running. Um, just a little video with this car. I think it's too good to crush. It has no crush weight. The guy hated to crush it. It does have all the hubcaps and everything. Um, what do you think it's worth? Is it, is it not even worth pursuing? You know, does a guy, uh, you know, I thought about maybe we could make a good trike project, cut it in half, make it into, you know, a three wheel trike, because it's rear wheel drive. We had a Volkswagen trike like that. Sure love that trike. It really ran smooth and cool. But we'll just have to clean her out and we'll do a video of us cleaning her out, washing it up, looking at their tires and wheels. Upcaps don't say nothing on them. Figured they might say. So is it a 73 or 74? Does it have it has 70 some thousand miles on it? I'm sure the headlights don't work. They got the vacuum headlights and all that weird stuff. But this is the start of a, I don't know. I don't know if I should just left it to the crusher. Let him crush it for fun. But we'll stop there. We'll, we'll do another piece. We're gonna clean it up, get the wheel strap on it before we get the wheel start. We'll try to hose it out and then we'll come back and show you that. All right, Rebuilds, I got the trunk lid open. I had to take the bumper off and there's a little hole down here. Just flipped the latch and worked. Um, but we got some mouse stuff in here. So we're gonna do some vacuuming and clean this all up. Uh, I must like mice, because there's a lot of mouse stuff down in here. But it does have a spare. <laughs> so maybe we'll throw that spare on her. 
I'm gonna vacuum it. Oh, there's dead mouse right there. Another one. Mouse number two got stuck in the door. So we're gonna clean her out and vacuum it up quick. All right, here you have it. We're a 1973 Porsche. It's a Volkswagen Porsche. I don't know what they call it. This is where we're at right now. Um, we got her back. We've been working on it. Um, cute little car. I did talk to the the owner's daughter. And um, this is a 1973. I think I might have said 74 earlier. Um, but this is going to be a big project. Uh, I believe this car, uh, the daughter told me that her dad bought this car brand new. So this is a one owner. I don't know if you call it a barn find or just sitting outside find. But this is what we've been doing to it so far since you've seen on the trailer. Um, we removed the tank. It's got a big hole in it. So tank shot. We move the bumper so we can get the hood open. Um, so now we just put a screwdriver in there, pop the hood. Um, we'll look at that. But what I've been doing basically is just cleaning this car. I took the door handles off, so they open like this now. Um, they're both messed up. I don't think you need door handles anyhow. Nobody's gonna steal this car. But I've been working on the interior, cleaning it out. Let's take a gander at it. Um, threw all the carpeting out and but uh, the floor is actually pretty good there was a little hole right up in here I bought out a license plate in there that's good enough for me painted it up real good I find two nice new floor mats they're gonna have to be pretty long ones this has got pretty good leg room so I'll find two nice black floor mats um, cleaned it up pretty good if you can see it I think you see it again 73,000 and she didn't verify that 8 track I love boxes here. Um, yeah, we're getting her. We're getting her whipped into shape. I haven't got her started yet. I ordered a high, uh, high power fuel pump. Um, don't know much about fuel injection, but we'll go around this side and look a little bit. Uh, the seats need a little work. Both seats could probably be replaced. The bottoms of these seats just pull up, which is kind of cool. These plates are, or these seats are real. Mickey Mouse could probably just pull them out and get them recovered. Floor's good over here. For the most part, the car seems pretty good. Even if I don't get it running, you know, we'll keep working on it. It's got some holes here. Even if I don't get it running, it's probably got some value to somebody. Um, it is a 73. I think they call it a four-cylinder L4 or something, or H4. Um, it is a five-speed manual. And last time, we couldn't get her to crank over this. We got her cranking over. We got spark. To the points but oh well, we're gonna work with that a little bit tomorrow when that fuel pump comes in the headlights did come up and come on um maybe i'll open this trunk for you okay the trunk's open we'll look up here it's pretty clean on the top where the tank is at it's pretty clean uh, doesn't look too bad there is a hole in the floor right here a little bit of rust is there, but really not too bad. It needs to, it needs to get a clean, a little bit more better cleaning. Um, the headlights are staying up. I don't know what causes that. It does have the cover that goes in here. Like that. So it has a lot of the stuff left over with it. It's just the tank is shot. The fuel system, I think, is shot. I just hope we don't have to pull this motor out, which, I mean, probably can do that. Here's another picture of the motor. Um, fuel injected. And if we got any comments, any good ideas of getting this thing running, she does crank over. Um, no spark. I think I just need to order a cap and rotor, or maybe a different distributor. I don't think it's too bad. We did touch up the top a little bit. Just from looking a little bit frayed, and I cleaned the windows up a little bit. Everything shuts as it should. And the bumper's over here. I had to take the bumper off to get the hood open. It's sitting over here. Don't know if it'll go on. Um, yeah. So hopefully the owner's daughter can give me a title for it. And, you know, I asked them if they wanted the car back when I completed it. She sounded like it was a no. Um, but I'm just going to put some time in this car. And get her it's a... Porsche 914 17 Volkswagen motor, Volkswagen, whatever you, but 
but it's pretty good shape. I don't know. I think it's too good to be crushed. There's a few holes back here for the most part. Nice little car. This will be probably the first video of me. Um, I'm going to be signing off here, um, basically cleaning. Uh, next step, probably need to get four good tires or new tires. I painted the rims up like this. Easy way of doing it, painting them on there. Then I take them and put new valve stems. New tire, new valve stem. And I got all the caps for them. So they'll look pretty good. That's a spare on that one side. So yeah, she'll look pretty sporty and pretty sharp. Um, hopefully she'll run. Um, I'm counting on her running. If not, it'll be sold as parts or it'll go down the road. Somebody probably wants to make this. I think they do make a L6. I've heard such a thing of an L6 Porsche. And I heard they have 120 horsepower and they can really boogie and people like to convert these into that L6. Um, the good part about this car is, is I think all the glass is good. I cleaned it up. I don't think there's any chips or cracks in any of the glass. Um, and that's always a bonus on these old cars. So, yeah, just keep watching, subscribe, click like, um, make some comments on this car. I mean, does it have any value? All right, Rebuilds, we're going to do a little buffing on this here Porsche. Um, don't have her running yet, but I'm just going to get her cleaned up real good. I think the car still got value if it doesn't run. Um, I'm using this McGuire's Ultimate Compound. We're going to do a few panels here, buff them out a little bit. Um, I mean, the paint's there. I want to say it's great, but we're going to clean it up a little bit and see what she looks like. Slap a little on the panel like that. Ah, plenty good stuff. Got plenty good on there. We'll dab it in. See if it does anything. Rub it in a little bit. We'll set this on. I usually set it on real low, like a two. I put it on a two and then I draw it all in, then I go back on a six or and then I smooth her out. Then I just massage it in on two. Let it sit for a little bit. Crank this up. Six is the highest, maybe five. And we'll go back over it and we'll see if you can tell the difference in the panel. The sun's not hitting it very good. There's some dirt and stuff on there. I should probably wash it off better, but we'll see. I mean, just, this is just the first pass. I'm going to see what this door and this looks like. Hood's bad, but um, yeah, we'll just see. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but um, I'm coming a little closer. Yeah, the panel actually looks pretty good. I mean, this is old paint. This is a one owner car, 73 Porsche. Um, I'm just gonna touch her up a little bit and we'll come back and I'll show you a little bit in the grooves here. I may wet sand it a little bit too. Um, I'd probably use 600 wet sand first. I probably should do. I don't know if you see the difference. The sun's not quite right. Can you see the difference between this and this? How oxidized this is, how this looks good. If we can get it all looking like this, it'd be a pretty cool looking little car. I'll pause here for a little bit and I'll try doing this whole side and we'll come back and look at it. All right, we got this side all buffed up. My buffer kind of took a pad, kind of blew apart. I got this side buffed up pretty good. Still a little dirty, but that's just the first wave of this car. I'll probably come back, I'll get all this off. I may actually wet sand it with 400, just a little bit to clean all the real, there's so much dirt on this car from sitting for so long. Just clean it up really good, make it look pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> still haven't figured out how to get it to fire. Cranks over and everything. I think it's got bad points. Ordered cap and rotor got it. Cap was kind of wanky, so I don't know. And I got fuel pumping through the rails. I just don't know how the injectors work yet, so that's going to be a little project. Um, so we'll just keep you in touch. I don't know if I'll be able to do the other side. But that lower black can be touched up pretty simple with just a spray can. Maybe I'll just do that next. Put a take a rattle can and touch that up. And I mean, it's not a show car, but it's gonna hopefully run and drive and just be a, a cool little, you know, one owner car. All right, here's a look at the interior. I got her all spiffied up. We put some cheap uh seat covers on it. 
some floor mats in it. Yeah, it's coming along pretty nice. Actually, looks pretty good, and I cleaned it all up. Um, this is just the cleanup part of it. Uh, we did not get this car running yet, but we got both sides buffed out pretty good. Um, here's my setup for my, my new fuel tank, my new fuel system. Anybody out there got any good advice or any help with this? I just took the high speed pump up to it right to the rail through the, and I have fuel going through the rail. Um, just trying to get her to fire. So, uh, any advice or any knowledge of these cars, leave a comment, click, you know what I mean? Tell me what you think I can do to get her running. Um, once again, I do have spark to the points, but I'm not getting it through the cap or outside the wire. So I don't know if I got a faulty points or I got a bad cap and rotor. Um, I put a new cap and rotor on there, still nothing through the through the wires. So I got something going on. And I don't know, do the injectors fire through the distributor? Um, that's a good question. Do the, do the distributor, there's electrical wires to the distributor. I don't know if they fire or what. So if somebody got any knowledge of these, let me know. Thanks, bye.